<laughs> yeah, I cut off the part about the hundred dollar shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, did. I, don't, I did. Because <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't, I don't, you know, could be good for business. People might hear and go, "Oh, it's only five to seven thousand. Yeah, I'll do that." But yeah, you can, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I always talk as if I think I'm being recorded. No matter what. The- <laughs> I already erased it, so we, we kind of, we, oh. yeah. So, so we can, can talk we- about it now. Hey, Tracy, I'd like to get a shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can do it. What do you charge? What do you charge? Um, for Oscar, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it's rare, but sometimes we have to actually look at the job site before we give a that's, quote. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, I, people, uh, people call all the time and like, how much is it to, you know, I'm like, well, can I look at it first? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, about 50 bucks. Oh, you get there. Yeah. It's about a yeah, nine, $9,000 yeah. job. Uh-huh. It, you know, I, I was, I was, we were talking earlier with, and, and the thing that you, you, you did say something about, you got to, you know, find out what, where you're putting the shower and, and how it's going to go in and all that good stuff. And, uh, yes. now my son and I put in a, uh, shower, one of those pre-made, you know, plastic right. or fiberglass, whatever they are. Yep. And, uh, uh, to get the t- old tub out, we had to like break it up to get it yeah. out. Cause we the cast iron, cast iron. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. that was quite the job, and it makes a little noise too. When oh, <laughs> yeah, and there, so we we got that out. That was like a day job. Was waiting to happen, yeah. And then when we went to put in the so-called shower that fits perfectly, uh-huh. <laughs> it didn't fit. It's you know it was a house on Livingston, so it was an old it was an old uh, um, ranch right. house, old house, you know, not square, not square at all. And yep. we weren't thinking we had to block a window. I mean, <laughs> it was right. just I don't want to do that again, Tracy. I don't want to no. do it again. No, well, so. we can do anything as long as I don't have to do it. <laughs> that's, that's my motto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. None of my guys are out there. But yeah, any anything like that, you always got to figure. You got to take it right down to the studs and just yeah. pull it back out square because it's never square. Never square. We had a we had a job once um, where this lady wanted a screen door. She said, "My husband put in a screen door and it doesn't look right. Can you come out and look at it?" And he uh, he put it in upside down. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you know, it's like the two foot part in the bottom that aluminum. Yeah. That was on the top <laughs> in the, the window was at the bottom. Yeah. 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 So when you walked up to the door, you're looking at a piece of metal instead of looking through glass. Yeah. The, uh, the hinges were on the wrong side. So instead of, you know, it's a left hand door instead of a right hand. So instead of getting the right door, you just put it in upside down. Yeah. See, I've, I've so done, I, I, I haven't put, put a door in upside down, but I have bought a door thinking I was the right door on the right side and it was mm-hmm. the left side or, you know. Yep. I've done that before. So we had a guy that um, had a door that needed like an inch cut off of it because the door was too big. Yeah, the carpeting and stuff, and he cut out the inch from the middle. <laughs> no kidding. Really? Yeah. That's like a Three Stooges move, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. cut, cut the inch out of the middle of the door. Yeah. And then what? He tried to glue it back together, or what? <laughs> Uh, on the back of it, he had a couple, you know, slats that he screwed into it. To oh, jeez. Sturdy. Yeah. 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 Cut the middle out of the door. Wow. Wow. Yeah, the stories I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> just, hey, but you, but you're here. You're here to win the the one and only. We haven't designed it yet, but I I, I think it's coming. Um, if you win, uh, talk and name that tune. Oh, name that tune. Yeah, there we go. you can, you can actually win the uh, Where's Bernie game. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it's coming. You know, it's, win it's, Bernie's mittens. Yeah, <laughs> win a pair of Bernie's mittens. There you go. Or yeah, a little yeah. stocking cap. Yeah, <laughs> I put it on. Uh, I, I put it on Facebook. What what kind of say just knits him mittens and doesn't make him a afghan to put on his lap right when he's sitting out there poor guy was cold like a thousand years old <laughs> at least yeah. at least a thousand i'm thinking anyway yeah yeah crazy, anyway <laughs> so yeah so so bernie bernie sanders i think we, we should make our we I, I think you should develop it i mean you should develop the game right there where's bernie yeah. where's yeah. bernie yeah i'm not quite oh, sure wait, i just looked he's behind me trying to get my wallet <laughs> 
<laughs> I see a hand coming my way. Yeah, a little mitten <laughs> coming your way. Uh, it's kind of funny how that all got started. I mean, it just, you know, they saw him there sitting there freezing his butt at the... Yeah. <laughs> and they just took his picture. Like he's at a soccer game watching little kids going, I can't believe I'm out here watching my grandkids play soccer. And they're freezing. <laughs> that's exactly what it looked like. Yeah. Some, some old guy watching the soccer game. Yeah, that's kind of the way I look like when I used to watch the kids' football games. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not quite the same mittens, though. I didn't wear those kind of mittens. But, you know, yeah. I was I a little cooler. More of a fashion. Yeah, place. I was always a fashion guru. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Plus, those mittens are useless. I mean, when I was a kid, we had wool mittens. If you got in a snowball fight, by the time you got done, the mitten was like two feet long. Yeah. Because they'd get wet and, yeah, they they retain water against your fragile skin, which is the best thing to wear when it's when it's freezing up. outside. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think he was throwing any snowballs. I think his arm was <laughs> like, you know, Not sure he could. Shoulder. Not sure he yeah. could throw any snowballs. <laughs> I'd take him on. <laughs> <laughs> take him on a snowball fight yeah i think i would too yeah yeah i mean i i thought about that the other day about snowball fight and then i thought no you know the arthritis in the shoulder nah i think i'll pass i'll, I'll be good so yeah. the underhanded yeah there you go he could lob it lob it in yeah. i wonder if i could actually throw a snowball through him <laughs> maybe <laughs> 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 and you get a picture of <laughs> picture of of uh, of him holding his mittens up to his face. No, yeah. no, Tracy, no. no. <laughs> yeah. And then the snowball goes right through him like the the Nazis in Raiders of the Lost Ark. He's <laughs> <laughs> got, got a hole through his chest with light coming through. Huh. Ah, poor, a man can dream. Poor Bernie. Poor I Bernie. Visualize. Yeah. Anyway, um, oh, yeah, we were going to play a game. Yeah, okay. Name that tune. Okay. You know, you and I are are like one of the few men that will actually admit that we liked Elton John music. So <laughs> I did I did back in the day. Everything we did. after Bernie Taupin left. Sucked, yeah, but I, I agree. I'm with you 100% on that one. Like prior, I say. Prior to that, yeah, no one has crashed faster or his, I shouldn't say crash because he's still, you know. You well, know, there's a lot of the other stuff. But, yeah, a lot of people damn. like that wimpy stuff that he, he wrote after, yeah. that whoever wrote for him afterwards, yeah. Yeah, everything after um, Rock of the Westies. Now, I, I, got, a, I got a trivia Story question books. for you. Um, there's right. somebody that just cel- celebrated his 71st birthday, and uh, Bernie Tappan, who wrote, you know, er, the early stuff for, for Elton John, right. um, wrote an album for this guy the you know, this guy wrote the music and then Bernie of course right. wrote the music, the, uh, words. Do you know who I'm talking about? That's the first 71. question. He's 71. Uh, Neil Diamond's older than that. So no, oh, yeah. I do not know. Yeah. I don't know. You don't know. You give, I've already, I've already lost. You already lost a question. God, question. Gotta... Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to say, you just had a birthday. So Joe, Joe, Joe Pesci. <laughs> Joe Pesci wrote an album? I don't think so. No, have he, you ever heard his music? No, I haven't. I don't want you, to. You have you you have to. Joe Pesci has a has music. You, if I played it for you and I said, "Who is this? Who is this?" You would not guess that it was a male. Really? I'll say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look it up on YouTube. Look up Joe Pesci music. You'll really? Be astounded. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, it wasn't Joe Pesci. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now he, the guys. I'm giving you another clue here. The guy is all okay. over Facebook now because he just turned. I think he's 71. Because I know when I saw him, he was 70. So yeah. Oh, well, there. So 71 okay. or 72? <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I know. And he's all over Facebook. I just saw him on premier at the, at the uh, what is it, the DeVos Center or something like that over in Grand Rapids, like oh. a year or so ago. Oh, you actually saw him in concert. In concert, yeah. Uh, Phil Collins. No, no, no. Okay, I yeah, you, you give. I give. Anyway, he wrote. He actually wrote. It was a terrible album. I mean, the album didn't do anything. He didn't. He didn't get any hit songs off the album or anything. But yeah, Bernie Tavin wrote for Alice Cooper. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of. Oh. It was like the dark side of Bernie. <laughs> all the young girls love Alice. Yeah, all the young girls love Alice. Yeah. <laughs> I never thought of that one. Good one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See, I can, I can, I can circle back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I say, the 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 like you know, I can name my like what one hand all the good Elton John albums before you know Bernie kind of took off, right. but uh, yeah, well, of course we're both 
big fans of uh, um, the Goodbye Yellow Lick Road album. I could uh, name on one shop teacher's hand all the good albums afterwards. Yeah, right. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> all the good shop teacher's fingers. <laughs> So, so <laughs> because of that, I'm only going to yeah. give you, uh, give you trivia questions from songs like back when, what, 1970 to 1975, maybe. All right. Or yeah, about 75, probably 76, I'm, maybe. We're so. Siri when I need her. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Just a minute, last Let me think. Now, now see this, this is not easy because I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the song in reverse. God. And then you got to figure okay, I'll out. I'll turn around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you play in reverse. See if I can figure it out. All right. Here's the fir- first song. You ready? I smell failure. It was. It yeah. was a number one hit for him. Okay. Uh, silent night. <laughs> no, no, not silent night. Is that is that your final answer? Well, because I I can't hear anything. Oh, you can't hear it. No. Okay, let me turn it up some for you. <laughs> yeah. Am I just uh, supposed to read the words backwards? There you go. Hey, can you hear it now? <laughs> What's that? It says quite a show you got going here because I can't hear a thing. Oh, you can't hear it. Okay, because nope. you're on the phone instead of being on FaceLine like I try to always try to get you. Hmm. Sorry. That's all right. Let me... Let me... <sighs> How, I, I hear I do it this way. Are you ready? We'll try I'm it. One, backwards. We'll, we'll try it one more time. You should be able to hear it now. Are you ready? Yeah. Did you hear it that time? Nope. Your song. Yeah, you're right. You now go. that you can hear right. it. Yeah, you're right. I should say... Um, Roy Ganas. Huh? Your song backwards. Oh. Roy Ganas. <laughs> and we'll also give the answers backwards. Okay, so you got that one right. That was pretty good. Now that we figured out a way for you to be able to hear the song. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll go, we'll go to the next one. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Daniel. Wow, you're good, man. You're really good. I'm impressed. Well, we'll just we'll put it forward so people know that you're not lying. Yeah, you're good. See, I didn't, I didn't, I've never heard that song frontwards. It's weird. I oh. didn't recognize it. Is that what you're used to listening to them backwards, or <laughs> I'm only used to hearing them backwards? <laughs> okay. All right, number three. I in reverse. Number three. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Saturday night's all right for fighting. What's that? Saturday night's all right for fighting. No, no, it's not that. Damn it. It jumped in too quick. It's jumped it, in too quick. Okay, yeah. keep going. Do I keep going? Okay. Uh, honky cat. You got it. Honky cat. Okay, you're you're just kicking butt here. You're you know you're Elton John. Okay. Forwards and backwards. All right, yeah. num- number four. You ready? Okay. Any Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. God, yeah, you got it. Oh, yeah, man. man. You're, you're just... Yeah, you're good. <laughs> I actually have the dogs of society outside my door right now. Do you? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I thought those like... were your workers. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say potato. <laughs> all, right, all right, number five. Okay, was that Saturday night's all right for fighting? Yeah, yeah, you got it. You got it. There we go. You're too good. I got to. We got to do. Older now. It's Saturday nights. All right for a uh, Metamucil and yeah, yeah, Netflix and Bernie. Yeah. Yeah. Bernie. Yeah. Bernie's on an island somewhere. <laughs> My island. 
<laughs> with gloves. Now, now play some uh, Alice Cooper backwards. Alice Cooper? I was surprised when I when I went to the Alice Cooper concert in Muskegon. How many hits that guy had? Oh, I know. Really, he's been really going. He's been going forever. It. Yeah. Well, you know, I've I've always been a big Alice Cooper fan too. So he's which... a golfer. Yeah, yeah, he's very, he's very, uh, actually, a very straight laced kind of guy. But um, anyway. you know, he couldn't sing till he he ran cross country and he passed out after the race and fell down and broke his nose. <laughs> I never heard that story. No. Yeah, and then when he yeah, because I actually talked to him, I actually interviewed him and stuff. Oh, yeah. did you? Yeah. Yeah, that's one ever interview I wish I would ever I would have had, but I never did get a chance to talk to you guys. Still got also, it on tape? Come on. <laughs> no, I didn't tape anything. Oh wow, man. Come on. My memory with yeah, the well, rusty you're... bear trap. Um, <laughs> here is a, a story. I don't I don't know if it's good without the visuals, but you'll probably they had a contest uh for the Chronicle before the um uh, summer celebration. They they picked the number one fan from each band that was gonna be there. Oh, okay. And they brought them down to the Chronicles to get pictures. Not with the person, but you know, just pictures yeah. to put in the paper. Like here's their number one star number one fan so they bring this lady and she's like a housewifey looking thing and she's just sitting there and they're like you know move around wave your arm we're gonna get some pictures and uh she's just sitting there and that guy goes just pretend you're at the concert what would you do at the concert and she goes whip and she whips her shirt off. yeah I, I i knew that was coming <laughs> and the whole place is like whoa so i go to the concert and they've got her on the on camera, and she's on like the screen behind it. And I go, "That's her. That's that's the lady." And she goes, "Whip." <laughs> <laughs> well, never, you never would have guessed. Well, that's just like uh, years ago. I don't even remember how many years ago it was, but it was it was quite a few years ago. I think I was at KBZ at the time, so it was probably like early '90s, maybe late late '80s. I don't know. But uh, uh, Cindy Cindy Jones, I think, was her name, who used to work at the Frauenthal. And she had, she had get me, gotten me some free tickets to see Tom Jones. And I'm thinking, why would I want to see Tom Jones? You know, and then, but then I think, well, free tickets, what the hell? So I went, we went, saw Tom Jones and the lady. You whipped saw, your shirt off. The lady, no, I didn't. But the ladies oh. up front were throwing them underwear and bras and everything else. And I'm sure if they, I'm sure they were probably yeah. showing things. But uh, uh, these ladies had to be in their 40s, 50s, 60s. I'm thinking. Yeah. Poor Tom, you know. It's a speak up extra long. <laughs> yeah. It's like poor Tom. He's getting these, you know, giant sized panties thrown at him and yeah. stuff, you know. And yeah. I can imagine. I can't even imagine now, you know, if he does a concert, what what it will get That's thrown right. at him. Here come the depends. <laughs> Slightly <laughs> used. Slightly <laughs> used. Here it depends. Oh, some uh, some orthopedic shoes. Yeah. With a, with a can. Hand Velcro shoes. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Line up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you just got hit with a uh, with a tennis ball from a walker. <laughs> teeth. Tom's down. <laughs> I need my teeth back, Tom. <laughs> Tom. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, Goodbye. Never anyway. Done. Anyway, yeah. so you do, are you are you good with that? Because you got five out of five. So I mean. I'm yeah. I, I mean, do you I'm, want to try for ten, or do you are you are you good with five? Ten's asking a lot. Go go for six. Do a sixth. Okay. I'll go till I miss, even though I did miss kind of one. But well, when I, when I heard the whole thing, I just jumped. You got it on seconds. the second time, so that that was good. All right. Okay. So okay, here we got it in forwards. So I got to play a reverb. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Let me. See. I got to check. See what make sure. Okay. I flipped the, the album over twice, so we'll, we'll do it again this way. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got it. No one ever knows what he says after. No one ever says nothing he says after Rocket Man. It's just it's so exciting, wasn't it? It's the next line. No one knows. No one knows. It's your you're a rocket man, or the the burning out his fuse up here alone. Ah, yeah, burning burning out his what? Fuse. Oh, fuse. Yeah. Burning out his fuse up here alone. Yeah. That's the line that just kind of mumbles through. You, you got to do one more just because. Okay. <laughs> 
easy. That's an easy one. Uh, are there any words to that song? Really? Okay. Oh, bad. He can't he can't hit those high notes anymore no no no, he, no. that's no, what no. he has his ba his band you know that was one thing i always thought was kind of crude about elton is that he had, bernie finally got his credit for some of the great songs that he wrote but <clears throat> his band that he that was with him for you know nigel Kept olsen and, yeah they were with Davey, him forever davy johnston yeah davy johnston wasn't Not nigel Davey. wasn't he didn't he go out and do a solo career for a minute when when Elton wasn't doing so yeah, good, they they never drummers should never have solo careers. No, no, he only had he had one unless like one uh, hit. Unless you're Karen Carpenter, <laughs> he had like the one was one hit. I, I can't forget what it was. He had a, but he, I mean, he's the one that did all the background high vo vocals and stuff like that. The the drummer, yep. so, <clears throat> but I mean, he never got any credit that I could see anyway. No. Poor guy. Elton just sucked it all up, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure Nigel's doing okay. <laughs> I'm sure he is, yeah. I'm sure they're doing all right as being the band mem the bandmates. Yeah. But hey, you got you got seven out of seven. You should wow. be you should be proud of yourself. I've never had anybody yeah. get seven out of seven before. Oh, well. Thanks. I mean, you, ever done it you know you're Elton, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you could do it with any band. I know all bands. Okay, well we'll have to do it. We'll have to do another challenge with another band then. Yeah. yeah. Um, like the Archies. The, the Archies, yeah, they had like what, th three hits or two hits maybe? <laughs> <laughs> sugar, yeah. sugar, jingle, jangle, and I can't really think of another one. So, yeah. another, <laughs> another, yeah, two word title song yeah. that you can get on the back of uh, Sugar Smacks. Yeah, yeah. I was, there was somebody that posted that uh, just yesterday on, on the Facebook. Cutout. Yeah, the cutout, but it was a, it was another band, and I said, I, I, Remember that one, but I uh, mine was first one was with uh, the Archie Sugar Sugar. So, um, yeah. you know, of course, I always had the hots for Veronica somehow, you know, or maybe it was Betty. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> do, you know, do you know anybody that really had hots for a cartoon character? <laughs> I know one guy. <laughs> well, no, not me. I was just joking. That was a joke. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. I've been in your garage. I've seen the posters. <laughs> Seen, yeah, but there's no Veronica or, 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 or no. Let me see. I think I got like Brooke Shields up there. I think in my garage. But. Who was the Who was the big girl? The big girl. Yeah, because there's Betty and Veronica, and then there was like a third girl who was. Oh yeah, uh, that, Ethel or something. Yeah. That nobody nobody cared about. Even Jughead. Yeah, she was always after Veronica. Jughead. I forgot about her. Yeah. Yeah. I like her. That's good trivia. I don't know. I went, she was, she was mine. She's kind of like a little lot of kind of. <laughs> yeah. Like, like there's like when the Beatles were big and every girl had a Beatle. And if there were four girls, one of them got stuck with Ringo. That's her, <laughs> that's her Beatle. <laughs> I got stuck with the, the girl that was after Jughead. Yeah. She yeah. Was mine. That was what, then, now did you know, okay. Um, Talk about an underrated drummer, Ringo Starr. Okay. I mean, cause he had like three little drums. Yeah. In a couple symbols, and that guy could uh, could hold a beat. If you listen to his drumming, well, that, that, on, um, and, and that's the thing too, he could hold a beat. I mean, that's that's yeah. the thing that uh, I hear from so many bands is that if a drummer can't keep the beat, he's pretty much worthless. So you know, he can do all the fancy yeah. stuff he wants, but if he can't keep yeah. the beat, you, you listen to his drumming or see video of his drumming on uh, Hard Day's Night. It's incredible. Okay, it seems like there's four guys back there, but it's just a uh, ring on his little. You know Casio drum set. <laughs> Casio. Because <laughs> I mean, you look at you look at Keith Moon of these guys. They've got thirty drums oh, yeah. and all these cymbals yeah. and Rush. Uh, yeah. Like the guy from yeah, the guy from Rush. And uh, but hey, you, you look at, at Ringo Starr or um, who's the guy from the Rolling Stones? Uh, yeah, yeah, you, I, I can't so I just think. Had a mental block. Yeah, me too. I was thinking Mick, name. but it's not Mick. It was Matt Jagger, but. Uh, Oh, Charlie geez. Watts. Yeah, Charlie. Yeah. Look at Charlie Watts. Guy can hold feet. The, the thing is with the Stones is their songs, like most songs, start with the drums and then everything comes in. The Stone songs usually start with Keith's guitar and then the drums come in afterwards. It's kind of backwards. Yeah. yeah. 
There you go. That's because Keith writes them, you know, so. Because Keith writes them. Keith, yeah. I went to a Stones concert once, and Keith was playing the wrong song because he was, like, wasted. Yeah. <laughs> and Mick's, Mick's yelling, Keith, Keith, you're playing the wrong song. Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Over there just wailing away. How, how are they still alive? I mean, you know, I know. I don't know, but I wasn't. Was it Ron White? Was it, Ron White was the original. Wasn't it Ron? Not Ron. That's a, no, that's a comedian. That's a comedian. Um, <laughs> no, no, Ron Ron White, I believe, is a guitarist. But okay, I think he's still there. Well, who's the Who's the one that? Oh, Mickey, Mickey, um, the one that died. Yeah, I don't remember. I yeah. know what if I he heard was it, the pretty boy. Remember. Yeah, and he died. He over OD'd in a swimming pool. Yeah, I think the contractor killed him. Probably, yeah. So it's been a mystery. It's probably because he was prettier than uh, than Mick, and Mick didn't like that. The Stones, until you see him in concert, I mean, it's uh, it's impressive. Yeah, I, I, I'm times sure. And it's, yeah. it's the stage. They were at Michigan State, and there were 99 semi trucks to build the stage. Wow. And there were no, there was no equipment, just guys like ants. Hmm. And they put this whole thing up. It was taller than Spartan Stadium. And the next day, it was all gone. Hmm. On to the next. It was, it was incredible <clears throat> to watch. So you think your guys could be? Semis. You think your guys could be roadies? <laughs> One can dream. <laughs> <laughs> the guys are probably putting together a tilt a whirl the week before. <laughs> you put up the uh, Steel Wheels Tour stage. Well, you know, I, believe it or not, I was pretty impressed. I went back, I got to go backstage when they set up the stage for um, uh, Kenny Rogers, which to me was pretty amazing. It was the one that, you know, circled, it went around, right. you know. So yeah. some of the stuff they had to do, it's it's pretty amazing stuff what these, these guys put together. So just yeah, for these a one night thing. had to be over 100 feet tall, easy. Yeah. And it was, uh, yeah, all together and apart in one day and then on to Cleveland. <laughs> I, do. I have appreciation for those guys. Yeah. So wh where, did, where did you see him? In, in Grand Rapids or? I saw him once in Cleveland and once at uh, Spartan Stadium. Oh, okay. I, I think they were ever in Grand Rapids, were they? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, and they were supposed to be at uh, Ford Field last summer and I wanted to go, but then they got COVID out. Right, right. And, and the clock is ticking. Oh yeah. Again. oh yeah yeah that's true especially the <clears throat> excuse me the older ones is because you know they're they're you're right their clock is ticking so it's just it's, it's been they gotta be in their mid-70s i would think I would so think. well alice cooper like i say just turned he either turned 71 or 72 but yeah, uh you know he's, and he's and he's considerably a, younger than they are yeah he's a lot younger than they are because he came out in the 70s and they came out in the 60s so yeah yeah but you know they don't look old <laughs> okay, <laughs> if you say so. They <laughs> look like a catcher's mitt. So yeah, they, <laughs> maybe if you're like in the the nosebleed yeah. seats, they don't look old. But you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they haven't they haven't aged well. No, no, especially yeah, Keith. But they've they've had a they've lived a life. Oh yeah, so cut them some slack. Oh I, yeah, I have. Hey, I got. <laughs> I know I couldn't have lived that life. I'm reading a book right now on the uh, oh geez, Kirk, Kirkland. Anyway, the the main lead lead singer for the the Turtles, and uh, it's it's pretty crazy because I mean the Turtles they weren't a huge group, but some right. of the stuff that they did I mean they they you know formed the band with Frank Zappa and they they did you know all these different things they they met with the Beatles and you know the Beatles if you wanna, if you pissed off read, their drummer and he never worked again and you know <laughs> so. if you want to read a good book about that read they call me Lumpy. Which was written by Frank Bank, who was Lumpy on Leave It to Beaver. Okay. And he was like the the sex god of Leave It to Beaver. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. It, it's an amazing book. Hmm. They call me Lumpy. I have an autographed copy. <laughs> Do call, you really? Of the, yep. Of they called me Lumpy. Yeah. And it was a uh, it was really if you watch Leave It to Beaver, it's a really interesting book to read. Not yeah. just that part of it, but um. He said the, that um, uh, Eddie Haskell, he said in real life, he was the most paranoid. He said when he drove his car, he wore a helmet all the time. Really? Yeah. That he was the exact opposite of Eddie Haskell. Because he became a cop. Right. Which that's is, which is kind of... <laughs> again, to circle back, didn't they say he was Alice Cooper? They did say it was Alice yeah, Cooper? Yeah, I think, yeah, they said that later on in life, he, that Alice Cooper and Eddie Haskell were the same guy. <laughs> Oops, I, 
That's a see. I've got this reverse on my proven, I, proven fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've got this reverse on my turntable, so I, I gotta find. I can't remember what album it was. The Beatles uh, had where they had the reverse. Paul is dead. Paul is dead. Yeah, I, I got to get that so I can play it and see what it says. Here, I'll I'll do a. Bro, it was not a Okay. And somehow they figured that was Paul is dead. Yeah. Because I've heard it. I'm like, yeah, I guess you kind of stretched that out. But... <laughs> Well, I could say we could actually play it backwards and find out exactly what it's what it says. We can so. get to the bottom of this. Yeah, but I I got to I got to figure out what album it's on. I don't know, but I think it was on the um, uh, Abbey pretty Road. Sure still alive. Yeah, I'm pretty sure too. You know, there's actually yeah, had, a documentary because he, he had the bare feet on the cover, and they right, like, right that on was Abbey the Road. Telltale sign. And that's so that's what I'm thinking. See, Abbey Road. I don't have the Abbey Road album on on LP, so I'll have to, I'll have to get that. But um um didn't they did, did you ever see that they have a documentary now that Paul is actually dead and there was a guy that replaced him on Netflix exactly or something the same and, and then wrote like 30 more hits and yeah. died well 30 yeah. Yeah, like more like 200 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean he's still he just put a new I just put a new album out so <laughs> there you go well, they got that they got that new guy for Journey so yeah, yeah. He, he doesn't there you go like Steve Perry. he's like a Filipino it could, could happen yeah, well, he's a little guy too, but I so was so was Steve Perry. He wasn't very big, so yeah. um, you know. I like the, I like the uh, video where Steve Perry was like clenching his fist and sweating, <laughs> which was every video that Steve. Perry yeah, yeah, <laughs> they were all the same. I remember. Oh, Sherry. I re, I remember. Yeah, yeah oh, Sherry was single. Yeah, I remember yeah. back when uh, when Journey first got Steve Steve Perry, because you know Journey, of course, was a group without him before. I mean yeah. the the what the guitar player I think it is that still that sang and stuff still, yeah. but and that um, was the journey the journey to find Steve Perry. Yeah, but the, the, what I I watched him on a I think it was like W like Riff W R I F had a uh, like a Detroit rock show on for a little bit, and they had featured yeah. that band. We you know they weren't that big then; they were just brand new. So they brought Steve Perry, and it's like wow, what a what a voice! But anyway, I know he had the voice, and then he just quit. Yeah. So, um, did you hear about the the new B- Bee Gees album? Now, were you a Bee Gees fan at all? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. See, my my sister loved the Bee Gees, and I kind of we I went to Florida with her and her girlfriend, and and one of the eight tracks they had was the Bee Gees Greatest Hit. So I kind of got it, you know, in, all the way down stuck in my brain. Florida. Yeah. So yeah, he put out a new album and had a bunch of different people singing the songs. Other- are there anyone of the Bee Gees still alive? Just Barry, Barry Gibbs, so on left, yeah, and uh, yeah, the rest of them had died. And but he he had he had like Olivia Newton John on this album, and he had uh, Dolly Parton. And the funny thing about with him and Dolly Parton is that I'm not sure which ones dentures were looser, but <laughs> when they were singing, but you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Do they have those dentures in your size? Because they don't seem to be. <laughs> they don't seem to be working. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get those from a mortician or something? Just, you know, <laughs> Stole them from my my old friend. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, but it's it's pretty good. I mean, my my wife loves it. So that's all that matters. But really? uh, yeah, it's it's yeah, but it's good got album. it's not bad. Yeah, it's got Keith Urban on it. And it's got uh, Miranda Lambert's on there. Um, the uh, let's see. Doing mostly the disco stuff or the earlier. They they, they did stuff. one disco song with Miranda Lambert, the jive talking, you know, and they yeah. slowed it down so it was different. It wasn't quite the disco beat. So anyway, it's 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 it's, it's yeah, jive, j- 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 yeah. <laughs> you should do a show where you have only songs where people stutter because that could be on there. Jive talking, Benny the Jets. Yeah, Benny, but but yeah, you're right now. Uh, um, Back to Turner Overdrive, yet. you ain't Bacca seen nothing yet. yet. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably it. Yeah. Yeah. You ever you hear the story all about stuttering songs? You ever put you ever hear the story about that with uh You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet? No. Uh, he he said that uh Randy Bachman said that um He was singing it to Jose Feliciano? No, no, he was singing it for his brother. It was a joke song that know, he had written. He was blind. Because <laughs> Yeah, thank you. <laughs> It was a joke song that he wrote for his brother because his brother stuttered, and so he he, he oh, did nice. the song. And they needed one more song on the album. They said, "We'll put that one on." He said, "No, no, no, I have just a joke song." But they put it on, and here it was a hit. So there you go. There you go. That'll teach him. Yeah. Um, Not your brother and 
make a fortune. Right. Let's see. I'm looking on this. On this. Oh, Allison Krauss. That was the other one I was trying to remember. She's on here too. Uh, there's a lot of country song people because you got you know. Um, they had never heard the Bee Gees, so they agreed to do it. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You've got Ban Perry on there. I mean, you know, a lot of different, a lot of different artists on there. It's different. You know, I, I, I kind of enjoyed it. You know, when I want to sit back and have a cup of coffee and just, you know, chill. Well, next time I go to Florida, yeah, I'm, I'm bringing that. That CD A-track. with you? Okay. Yeah. yeah. CD. Oh, the A track. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. All the way down. Good luck finding the A track now, but yeah. <laughs> remember the song remember bad company oh yeah remember bad company yeah I love whatever that. that tape was that had that bad company song on it uh i went to florida once and the guy that drove us down his radio didn't work and he had one cassette and that was it <laughs> oh, oh my god but that was like i say it's almost as bad as because she had like, like one cassette i think she had like maybe three eight tracks and one of them was the bg's greatest hits so and that's the 60s stuff we're not talking you know jive talking and stuff like that we're talking uh holiday and massachusetts and you know that stuff only words about words Uh, i started a joke um i can name them all (laughs) made a career out of it yeah yeah (laughs) i started a joke yeah (laughs) and people started buying this crap yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I think uh, being knowing that much about the Bee Gees may lap any Elton John knowledge. I know, I know. Well, you know, what can I say? Undateability. But, yeah. Well, you know, Barry. <laughs> Barry did write for a lot of different artists, so I, I got to give him give him give him props on that anyway. Yep, and they never played an instrument. Yeah. Remember Samantha? You ever heard of Samantha Sang? Samantha sang. Yeah, she did a song called Emotions. Yes. Yeah, and he he wrote that one, and you even heard him in the background. Emotions. <laughs> <laughs> kind Which, of like Mick Jagger in the background of Your So Vain, where Carly Simon just like turned him down. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be a duet, and she's like, "Yeah, hey, I sound pretty good," and just Mick yeah. is just gone. We'll take Mick out of there. I don't think Mick was that happy about it. Now was now was Mick supposed to be the one that she's uh, singing about, or? Um, no, it was. Uh, it was, it was Warren. Me. Oh, it was you? Yeah, because yeah. I've heard Warren Beatty. I've seven. heard. Yeah, I've heard many. <laughs> I've never heard you, but yeah, I've, yeah, yeah. I was a, now. See, I was a big Carly Simon fan too. I I liked the uh, the album cover. You know, secrets. Yeah, I always loved the album cover. So kind of got me you into know, Carly. Some people are just too lucky that you're born that wealthy and then you get to be Carly Simon on top of it. Right, right. You shouldn't get to do both. <laughs> now what are your what are your feelings on uh, like, uh, Linda Eastman? Yeah. You shouldn't be both. Yeah. So what what are your feelings on uh Linda Rodstadt? Um I actually took a class in college with a guy, the professor actually produced some of her records or whatever. And he said she could not sing an entire song all the way through. Really? And they would have to just, you know, take it sentence by sentence or line by line and splice it together to make the entire song because she could not. Well, wow. she ended up with Jerry Brown. Well, we um, saw her in, in, in concert and she sang the whole time. So I, I don't know. Well, well, maybe she got better, but. That's the one thing I remember about Linda Rasta. And I have the picture disc of whatever the one is where she's wearing the roller skates. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's wearing the white roller skates. Back in the USA, yeah. Yeah, I have the uh, I have the picture disc of that. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty I good. I I got it. I'm not sure it's ever been played, but I own it. <laughs> the picture disc. Yeah, she is She is worth looking at, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. She was yeah. always one of my favorites, those, those, those hurt. beautiful brown eyes and those uh, pouty lips. I mean, you know. Yeah, get you every time. Me. So, yeah. if you see her now, yeah, well, now she's got Linda, got some problems. So our, our looks held up, but yeah, you know, that's what I keep saying too. I look Linda at Linda fell apart. I look at some of these people that are you know so old now, and I you know I, I saw a picture of Gene Hackman the other day of what he looks like. It's like what the oh. what the heck is what is that? You know, because he's got so thin and everything, and I'm thinking, right. you know, how how lucky we are that we still look so damn good. It's, it's amazing. We're freaks of nature. I know. I know. Yeah. 
I just look in the mirror it's and I say, not the age, it's, wow. uh, it's the mileage. <laughs> it could be, yeah. We've got, we've got low miles. <laughs> we got low miles. We haven't, ch- we change our, we change our oil often. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever watch Mythbusters? I you have. I, I have. I haven't in a long time, but yeah, I have. Remember Corey, who was like the young guy on the show? Yeah. There were the two main guys and they had the, the hot girl and Corey were in the Japanese guy. Where like the three people actually did the work. Well, I stumbled across a show on Netflix maybe two days ago. And I'm like, who is this guy? I recognize his voice, but who is that? And it was Corey from Mythbusters plus about 150 pounds. And wow. Yeah. Yeah. I could not. He was unrecognizable until it dawned on me like halfway through the show who it was. Huh. My God. It's Corey. That <laughs> no. myth is busted. <laughs> that myth hit the wall. Yeah. Well, I just got I just got a, a letter from my insurance company saying that uh, since my my sugar because I'm diabetic, I said my sugar was up a little bit higher than it nor it should be, and that I should be on the list for the the uh, COVID vaccination to be you know one of there the you go. well yeah, but it also says that I must lose thirty pounds. I'm thinking, oh, well, <laughs> oh, through the vaccine. <laughs> thirty pounds. <laughs> I gotta cut God. off my leg. <laughs> yeah, that's about it too. I have to cut off my leg to do that. So yeah. I don't know about You're losing. You're not that big. Well, they yeah. say I need to lose thirty pounds. So wow. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, that's what I, I thought. Like, that's. I wonder if you can sell your place in line, like if you have your ticket to get the vaccine. If you can go online and say, like, "Hey, do I want to bid on this? <laughs> Take my spot." <laughs> I know a few I, people that have got it now, and and so far I've seen no real side effects. But uh, one guy I was talking to said that. You know he's getting he gets really tired and he's very achy. So you know I guess it all kind of it all yeah, depends so on my yeah. That's <laughs> kind of my normal day. Yeah, I got it, and <laughs> the only side effect was every song I heard was backwards. <laughs> but you still got them. But you still got them. So that <laughs> yeah. that was a good thing. <laughs> yeah. It's always a plus. It's always a bright side. Okay, that's now good. speaking of bright side, we we didn't really discuss this we could discussed it earlier but it wasn't being recorded um but anyway about your about your book when is this thing going to come out man i'm, I'm still waiting for it uh, possibly never i don't know it's still the printer i contact them maybe once a week and ask for an update and they've just said covid backed them up and yeah yeah that's true other people's yeah. books so whatever i, I, I can see that when it does come out you'll be the second to know okay because you're, yeah. you're giving me that complimentary copy, right? Just because it's, it's written. Because it's me. It's, <laughs> right. Yeah. Give me a copy of the radio show and I'll give you a copy. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. So we'll give you a, uh, I'll give you a copy. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's no. Uh, autograph and stuff, lumpy, right? But, yeah. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah. I think people will like it. <laughs> I will. I hope so. <laughs> that way you can, that way you can, you know, sell your contracting business off and. Just live that's independently right. wealthy and, you know, drive to Florida with the BG A track and that's right. The first two did pretty well, so hopefully the third one does as well. Yeah. Isn't the first one out of print though? Yeah. Why why would they take it out of print? Did it just not uh, sell enough or I what? Know. I should have bought a bunch of when it was on the uh like the discount table at Barnes and Noble. Yeah. I should have grabbed a stack of them. Yeah, I used to go to I used to go into Barnes and Noble and I would sign copies and then stick them back on the shelf and then if someone bought it they'd be like, hey, look, I got an autograph copy. Ten, <laughs> I wrote my wrote my name in, but it was the largest uh, book signing in the history of the Muskegon Barnes and Noble. Yeah, yeah, and I have no pictures of it. Yeah, I have no pictures to of that event because I didn't think anyone was going to show up, but yeah, they showed up. Yeah, they some they people like you. I mean, I could say it's at. Uh, I think I didn't know me. The, the, that's right. The last uh, interview I think we did, I put it up on on YouTube, and it's you know no face or nothing, just a few pictures thrown up there, and it got like a couple hundred views, you know. So I have a I have a big family. Yeah, yeah, well, that's, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I think, I think a couple yeah, considering <laughs> yeah, considering just you know you and me chatting, <laughs> I know right. it wasn't because of me, so you know. Yeah. Anyway, see, it had been a video chat. Yeah, it had been it had been like screen. phenomenal. It been a comment that number. Yeah, it would have been phenomenal. 
as long as I just had you in the picture, you know, because, you know, you don't want to put right. me in the picture. I got to <laughs> lose 30 pounds first. So right. <laughs> you're over there injecting insulin <laughs> and you're diabetic. And yeah. And just, yeah. You know, cut my head off. I'd be fine. And that'd be about at least 30 pounds. I think, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, bowling ball 16. So I don't think you'd get there. No, I got a pretty yeah. big head. None of those masks fit me, man. I always got to stretch them out before I can put them on my big head. So. A stapler? Yeah. <laughs> I hate that, though. You put a mask on, and, and it, it's it's not big enough, and it pulls your ears down, so you look kind of like, you know, the guy with the big ears sticking out, you know? So. It's a good look. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I like it, yeah. <laughs> you put a mask on with your ears out and put on your Bee Gees? Yeah, yeah. And you'll, you know, the women will just be swarming Par- parachuting in yeah my wife will have to fight them off yeah <laughs> or, or invite them over yeah <laughs> come on over here's my chance here's my out yeah get, keep work them out get them to lose at least 30 pounds 30 pounds he's fat 30 pounds. that's a lot that's I like know. uh that's what i thought of my body weight <laughs> Yeah, but you're skinny. You're, I've always been a heavy, heavy guy. I've always been kind yeah. of big. So, no, well, I got a tape from when I was younger. I just never got rid of it. There you go. That's what I should want. Me back and borrow it sometime. Yeah, go eat some uh, raw hamburger. <laughs> You'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> raw hamburger and just take care of that thirty pounds and boy. Yeah, so I feel wonderful. Quiet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, thank you for uh, for for winning. I guess you guess you won. I guess I got to get you a Bernie Sanders. Or uh, where's Bernie uh, game? So we have to develop it first, though. Yeah. Well, I can have the guys print my book, print that game out. Yeah. And then, yeah. yeah. We should have it by the turn of the century. I still, have, yeah, I still have. <laughs> I turn of the century. I still haven't figured out what the what the plot's going to be yet. But you know, where's Bernie? I mean, where's Waldo? Was you know what was that? You just had to find Waldo. So we just had to right. make some really unique things, and you got to find Bernie. So I have a where's Waldo tattoo. Do you? No. Oh, okay. If yeah. you could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could you believe yeah. people? I mean, come on. That Facebook phenomenon. Come on. We put, put Bernie on there and in it different locations. For yeah. a few days, I have to admit. I'm yeah. And then. Laugh out loud. And people are, are getting tattoos of it. And people are making, uh, you know, know, selling the mittens like crazy. I regret that. Yeah. I mean, there, there's That's the woman true. that made him the mittens, I guess. She's like, can't keep up. You know, yeah. trying to make those mittens. Raw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with the NATO man, <laughs> she's going to town. <laughs> red, glowing red hot. <laughs> Got to make those mittens yeah, for Bernie about, fans. <laughs> had anybody known? I mean, Burden or somebody could have given the guy some mittens. Think of the advertising. Yeah. Not just. Yeah, well, you know, it's one way for somebody to be. Uh, we we got another person that way she can make money by selling Bernie mittens. So, and there's somebody out there now too. I don't know who it is, but there's somebody out there that's actually making or knitting the Bernie doll. So, there's something that I think you would want for Christmas. So the Bernie doll. Yeah, I yeah. do have a uh, Barack Obama chia pet. <laughs> chia Still pet. Is. I do. Still yeah, I know. I, I've seen them. <laughs> there's two of them. There's a happy one and a like an somber one yeah and i've got two i've and got the two you i got keep, them at walgreens so you know it's a collector's item that's right and you, you kept it kept it nice and growing right it's a night well, i've of, never i've never opened them up There's oh you haven't opened them all year all so wrapped in black. it's a collector oh i gotcha i gotcha <laughs> someday my grandkids will not have to work <laughs> Because of that, yeah. That was what I worked at. They should make uh, chia pets of of um, Biden's legs. <laughs> he, had the hairy, he had the hairy legs. I, I I didn't know that, but okay, thanks. You didn't know about the hairy legs? No, I didn't know. With no. corn pop or whatever his friend's name was, and he used to go to the swimming pool and he'd jump in his leg hair at all and the kids would like stroke his leg hair and <laughs> you never heard you never heard biden tell that story i never heard that story no sorry no no sorry no. i missed it i was just no. like i was thinking of the story that when i was at uh at lcs and uh and 
you know, I had arranged for us to have a nice Christmas party at uh, Dockers and everything. And the general manager, the boss of the thing, what did, what did he come up with? He gave my, my wife, who actually worked there at that time, gave her a hundred bucks and she went out and had to buy Chio Pets for everybody. That was their gift for Christmas at wow. <laughs> the radio station. So, but I never, got, I never got a Barack Obama one. That was before Barack. So, you know, that was, uh, his radio station. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't was, think I ever got anything when I worked at a radio station. Yeah. That was, that was it, man. We got, we got our, our Chio pets. I mean, I'd rather have the 20 bucks for the Chio pet, right. but you know. What, what I remember working at the two radio stations I worked at is when they went under or came under new management or whatever it was. Yeah. Which was, and, which was often, but anyway. Right. Yeah. They split the signs up with Velcro because, yeah. No sense. Yeah. No sense. <laughs> Throwing those it. things in. Right. <laughs> permanent. But both times, the big one was WCZR in Grand Rapids when I worked there. And the guy comes in and says, okay, you know, you're basically all fired. Uh, they're coming in, new management and everything. And there's like a two second pause. And then everybody is stealing everything in the place. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're grabbing the gold records off the walls. They're taking the microphones. It's like the place is cleaned out. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a shopping spree. Like that was a reward. Well, I don't know. I don't want to. Christmas the... bonus, they got the gold record. One of the things they told me when I was program director is that would make sure when I fire somebody that you fire them and they're gone that day. You don't let them right. go back on the air no. after they've been fired, you know, so you don't let them all oh, come out, finish out your ship, but you're fired by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I tried that with the Chronicle. Yeah. And I wrote my final, my final column and they basically printed another thing that said like, you know, he wrote this column, but it's really not ready for people to read. <laughs> <laughs> so did you put it in your book? <laughs> you know, I, no, I didn't. I, I should have. Yeah. There you I go. remember the, the publisher said it was, this is just too much inside baseball. I'm like, what? I don't even know what that means, but whatever. <laughs> I named names, damn it. Yeah. Well, you know, just like when I was I at. burned bridges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, bridges. I'm with you on that one. I, uh, <laughs> I don't do it anymore cause I got nothing that left to burn. But anyway, except for 30 pounds, but, um, I, uh, worked at, at rock 95, which was, you know, turned to be KBZ, which turned to be GVU, which anyway, I worked at rock 95 and that's what they did. They came in and they said, okay, this it's done. We're, you know, turning it off and they just made it WKBZ. So we were all fired. Well, the next week they called me cause I needed a part-timer and I worked at WKBZ. And, um, so I think I worked there maybe a week and then Tascone called me and he didn't like me for something I said or did or whatever. Right. And he fired me again. So it was like, that was like the, the most I've ever been fired in within, within a week I got fired <laughs> twice, you know, I think of mad. Maybe <laughs> I should get, reason. and I, I should have got out of radio then I should have known, you know, I should have got out of radio right. that right then it's like, I get fired yeah. twice in a week. Wait a minute. Right, Tascone, he fired me from WTRU. Did he? Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, he didn't mix too yeah. much words. It's just like, oh, you're not working out, you're fired. It's like, yeah, he okay. Was, <laughs> he, he wasn't exactly Mr. Radio. No, no, he wasn't. But, he wasn't a great, he wasn't a real swell. I mean, Don Anderson, I know him real well. And he, he worked for Tascone for quite a few years because he worked at TRU. And then he was general manager over at WGRD. So, I mean, he worked for him for like maybe 15, 30 years. I don't know, something like that. Wow. That's a record. Hmm. So he, he must have had something. He knew something that we didn't know. <laughs> he got out of the radio business into the ice cream business. Yeah, Fred. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I he's like he's still around though. I I think. I mean, last Is I checked, really? yeah, he's like ninety four or something like that. But yeah, he's still. Crap. I think he's still with us. I haven't. We used to go to uh, uh, meetings, you know, before COVID came. We used to go to these radio get-togethers, which you know you could be part of too if we ever get a chance to do it again. But um, anyway, it was uh, just a bunch of radio guys getting together, and they said, "Yeah, he's still he's still going." But that was last year that we talked about it. So who knows? Wow. Who knows? Yeah. But uh, anyway, I wish I wish him no ill. No, me neither. Me he's neither. Still, I mean, that, like I say, it's something I can brag about that he he fired me and hired me and fired me. Yeah, you were the <laughs> Billy Martin of radio. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. That was that's a good. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to put it. But uh, yeah, Fred, Fred's still around. But yeah, I wonder what the record is for how long someone stayed at the same station. I don't know. I don't think it's very long. Do you know Bill uh, Bill Spaniola? 
I think yeah. he was oh, Bill yeah. Andrews on TRU. Yep. Yep. I think I he was, was the there for quite a while. Group. Yeah, he was there for quite a while, wasn't he? I think he was there for a long time. When they when they got rid of us, and they were remodeling the offices, and they said we're remodeling these offices. You know, they're tearing them all mm-hmm. down. Blah blah. So naturally, we took that as an excuse to take darts. <laughs> we were throwing darts in all the walls. <laughs> we were just throwing darts around and they were smashed. And then we found out if you threw darts, they had the glass block in the lunchroom, sort of. Yeah. The glass block wall. If you threw it hard enough, you could actually make a dart stick in the glass block. So we're whipping these darts and stick them in the glass block. And then the guy comes and says, Oh, yeah, the only room they're not changing is the break room. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> By then we were fired anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah we, wrecked all the, we wrecked all the glass block. And then Bill Spaniel. Yeah. Oh, so you guys were the culprits, the two of you. Okay. The two of us, it was a two man deal to who could throw a dart through glass, <laughs> which is why I'm pretty sure I could throw a snowball through Bernie Sanders. There you go. Yeah. So Start that's out, that's running, your next goal. Running. You know, not another book. Your, your next goal is to throw a snowball through Bernie Sanders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, th- hey congr- right. congratulations. You got seven out of seven. You're an Elton John. I mean, I'm going to write Elton yeah, a, not, a letter or gonna, something. Uh, I'm not going to break that one up. Yeah. But I, I would like to think it was any song, but you just happened to pick Elton John song. But. Well, you know, it's just one thing that you and I have in common as far as like you need old Elton John. Yeah, with Bernie, short, Or I should say the old Bernie Tappan stuff. Yeah. People don't realize how big he was back in the 70s. mid to late 70s. Yeah. 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 I mean, he was. He was it. I think he had the only album ever that went platinum before it was recorded. Yeah. That there were orders in for over two million copies before he even wrote it. Well, you know, the, the first song that uh, was was the number one hit for him was your song. And, of course, that was the number one hit for Three Dog Night. And, uh, I mean, they're just it's just amazing the, the career he had in, in the beginning, you know. so I think he wrote that when he was like 16. Yeah. Something, yeah. At yeah. the start, it was... It was the it was the magic came together the two chemicals of bernie and elton and yeah they had a good run yep honky honky mm-hmm. shit was a honky chateau um 11 uh, 17 70 yep and then uh, you had madman across the water which was a great album um don't shoot me i'm only a piano player which is the one the first one i actually listened to by elton john and and then uh um Goodbye Yellow Book Road, which was a double album of love. Yep. And there was a great lot of great hits not on a, that one. Not a bad song on it. No, not really. Good, good artwork. Yep. Had all the lyrics. Yeah. So. Um, Tom Dvorsny. I don't know if you know Tom or not. I went to school with Tom Dvorsny. And he is an artist, and he did our senior yearbook cover, like the Goodbye Yellow Book Road cover. Oh, cool. Oh. So, yeah, because I still got That's the cover. I don't have the album. I have the I have the CD, but I mean, um, I have the album. Yeah, see, I I do have the album cover, so I do have the album, but the the record's got to be pretty bad, so I just kept the cover. So no, um, it's actually in my garage. You might have seen it <laughs> next to, to Brook Shields. Yeah, next to Brook Shields. Yeah, and uh, and Veronica. Yeah, and Veronica and Betty. So. And Betty. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. You take okay. care. Take care of yourself, and good luck yep. on that book. Hopefully, it comes out soon. Yep, I'll let you know. And Thanks we'll out. we'll do we'll do a name that tune again since you're like the champion because I'm going to get a couple more people to do it, and I don't think <laughs> they're going to do as I don't think they're going to do as well as you. But we'll we'll do like maybe Alice Cooper or something else next time. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Oscar. Take Bye. care. Bye.